Richie, thanks for joining us. Congratulations, a massive win. Players are outstanding. Um, I think in the first 20 minutes, it was a bit nervy for, from both teams. But when you're trying to play like the way that we play compared to the way that they play, to be fair, they passed it a little bit today, but it can always be a little bit nervy trying to, trying to do it our way. So it was a little bit sketchy first 20 minutes. I thought then we grew into the game and some really nice passages of play. But then I think from 45 minutes to, to the sending off, I thought we were brilliant. Brave, brave, passed the ball, took risks at times. But um, I thought the players take all the, the players take all applauded today. They're outstanding. We set up a game plan for him. Um, and when a manager, when you, as a manager, when you drive up, when you leave your own house at half four in the morning, you get to train and you drive back to Bradford, and you get in late, and they put a performance in terms of the effort like that, then it's so rewarding. I just think the players are, were, were different class. And it was a game where they had to show character, and they did. Every game you have to show character, and um, I think sometimes it's more difficult because people have gone, oh, they've they've let a lead slip a couple of times. Um, but that happens when teams go 1-0 down um, or 2-0 down, they have nothing to lose, they, they come up with different systems, they throw bodies forward and all of a sudden it can be chaos at times and you just need to, to, to adapt. I think we, we in the last few weeks we have gone a little bit passive in terms of dropping that extra five or six yards, which is understandable. But I think today, even when at times with 10 men we have to go a little bit deeper, but I thought our line was good, I thought it was aggressive and, and we limited Carlisle to... Before the sending off, I can't remember having one chance, and then they had the chance at the end where, where Hunt has played a square pass and is a bit of a miscommunication, and, and obviously the lad goes round Viggs and, and Bex clears it. So um, apart from that, um, we was pretty comfortable at the end, but you know that they've got some threats in the attacking third. Armour put some good deliveries in. They've got four strikers. You know whether it's two that start and two that come on, different different pairing. Um, they've got some they've got some good players. Uh, second yellow card that's why Charlie Cowman saw red and both seem to be unnecessary well, I think the referee was a little bit soft today and once you set a precedent for bookings um, you know, every little touch seemed to be a to be a booking or to be a free kick so I don't think we need to comment on that I think it was a booking so Charlie does deserve to be to be sent off for the second one the first one I'm not sure and could Owen should Owen have had a penalty or two um, I can't see from here Dave it's really difficult um, Paul Smith is one of them players that is quick and he can manipulate the ball very quickly and entice people in. But I couldn't. I've not seen it back. I've not seen it, so I wouldn't like to comment. Um, luckily, in the end, it didn't really matter. And the substitutes had a positive impact, particularly thought, Walter Tuya. I thought tactically today, even when we went to to ten men, we was brave. We played four three two, split the two strikers and allowed their two centre backs to have it. Um, I thought tactically we was very very good, and the players. Um, but we could have been better first half, but I think once we got it. Especially when they changed system after, I think it was 20, 25 minutes, then um, I thought the players were really good. I don't want to single out individuals too much, but I thought Hunt on his return to the starting 11 and Idris El Mazzini midfield were outstanding. There's a reason why I've signed Hunt for three clubs. Class player. Composed, knows the game, puts his body in positions where he can, he can defend well. I wasn't happy with him when he played that square pass after, after 90 minutes, whatever it was. So, um, and um, and of Idris, we we was worried about him a little bit from 65 minutes to 75, um, because he just looks tired. Obviously, I don't know how these players cope with Ramadan and and and, and keep their energy levels up. In the end, when I'm thinking should I substitute him, I thought the last 15 minutes his energy levels returned. So um, again, I wouldn't like I wouldn't single anyone out. I thought from from Viggs all the way through to to Kelman and, and then when Driz come on, I thought every single player put a, a right shift in. And, um, and deserve the win. We can still hear some of the supporters. It was a terrific atmosphere, particularly in that second half. Yeah, it was, especially on the far side. But um, I spoke early in the week about being nervous. Brilliant being nervous. This is a, exactly this is what we work all week. Every single day we come train, every time that we put a session on, every time that I go and watch an opposition play, we do it because there's an expectancy on us and there's an expectancy to perform in training and then we bring it on to games and we the expectancy this year was to be in a position like this and to make us nervous and to want to be in this position and, and thrive on it so um, today I thought the energy from the players they thrived on it we're playing out from the back so a lot of the 99% of the fans were, were fantastic there's still a couple behind me lump it forward come on we lost our identity last week we deserve to lose at Hartlepool because we played too many long passes today when we got it right, okay, the pitch isn't great. There's a few bubbles and Sully popped in a pocket and, and it bubbled up and we give a free kick. I don't care. 
I don't care. The players are good enough to play. If they're not good enough to play, then I won't do it. Um, but if you watch us all season and you go, that was, the best, that was a great performance, that was a great performance, that was a great performance, it's all when we pass the ball. So I'm really pleased because the players are brave. We pass the ball and I think from, from 45 minutes to when we scored, I think we took the game away from Carlisle. And a weekend when the top six played each other and you're the only side to win? Um, yeah, I think Bradford won today, no? Brad, I, yeah, Bradford won, so I still think Bradford are a threat for the, for the, um, <clears throat> for the top, potentially top three. Um, simply because they're the biggest club in the league we'll have a big budget and probably they've got the best manager in the league so they'll still be a threat um, and it doesn't matter what what I don't get I don't get too reactive because everybody if you win a game you look up and if you lose a game you look down so I'm not we've got a big weekend we've got two fixtures Friday Monday next weekend one at home and a tough game away at you know a real informed team at the moment so um, we just keep going your former club, you know them well, so for City on Good Friday. Yeah, I went to watch them last night. Um, I thought Stockport were really good, could have been free up in the first 20, 25 minutes. But then in terms of technical footballers, they're up there with the best teams in the league. So um, I would imagine it'll be a, a good football match. And um, it's another exciting game to, to go into. And is it one that Theo could be playing in? Potentially. He, he, he trained yesterday and he was just a little bit apprehensive. He still... He was a little bit scared of tackling and when you have a knee injury, whether it be especially the inside of your knee, when you do that block tackle, you're always worried about opening up. So um, maybe, obviously it gives us a, a thought now because Driz has got a, a sore hamstring, he's just come off, he's got a sore hamstring and obviously Kelman will be um, will be suspended. So I've watched enough of him to, to come up with a plan and obviously he's going to need a change of personnel. And it's been good to see Dan Happy back in training this week. Yeah, listen, every time I see Danny lights up my face because he's a great character. Um, bit of deja vu, actually, at the moment, because 12 months ago I come in and he was he was injured and he kept looking at me going, Gaffy, you going to speak to me? And I'm like, no, yet, not yet, Dan. You're no interest to me, you're injured. Only, that's a joke, by the way. Um, because people do take things out of context and try and manipulate what I say sometimes. Like, when I said that Sweens was at fault for the goal last weekend, listen back, I didn't say that. Yeah, they fullback made a decision to put it through to the fight. When we had the same situation, we didn't do that. So don't read too much into it. I love Dan. And now, obviously, he's injured again, and I'm walking past him every morning thinking, I wish he was fit. Um, but no, great lad. Um, good smile, good positive energy around the place. As I'm, the biggest positive today, and listen, the, the players are outstanding, the fans were brilliant in the stadium. But you see, every single player was on the pitch at the end of the game. So I've had to leave a number of players out of the squad and it's the worst thing as a manager when, when they've got great attitudes and the great lads it's, it's so so hard but that's what's got us in this position the team spirit and the collective um, you know the mates they are good lads and they want that end goal so that was really pleasing to say that they're all out there they're all celebrating and obviously congratulating the teammates exciting times well done thank you thank